So Sadhguru, my question is to you, uh, is dharma definite? If it is not, does it uh, make an individual opportunist? Well, we went to from karma to dharma now. <laughs> See, the problem with this country is, there was a time when every generation produced thousands of enlightened beings, realized beings, sages and seers and mystics were all over the place. So, the vocabulary of the most profound became vocabulary of daily usage also. Because of this, people are always throwing these words around, mukti, moksha, prarabdha, karma, dharma, this one, that one, everything, without understanding the full depth of what they're uttering. Simply, loosely it is being thrown around. Now the same words are being picked up by the West, karma, dharma, everything is becoming part of English lexicon <laughs> So, when we say dharma, we are talking about the word dharma literally means law, not religion. So we said, you have definitely heard, even in the political circles, they've been using Raj dharma, this dharma, that dharma, this is a dharma for the husband, dharma for the children, dharma for the wife, dharma for the raja, dharma for the preja. They're just talking about unwritten laws that all of us should follow for conducive function of a society. And atma dharma, they said, dharma are the laws which govern our inner nature. So these are laws, these are not morals, these are not ethics, these are laws. When we say a law, we're talking about… in the… in science we're using this word law, that is appropriate way of dharma. Now the dharma is, if I take this flower, though it is a flower, light and beautiful, if I drop it, it'll only go down. This is the law of gravity. We can say this is the dharma of this bhumi, that if you drop something, it'll go only down, it'll not go up. This is the bhumi dharma. So they spoke in their own language of the time. So dharma essentially meant a law, not some kind of a policy or religion or anything else. Today slowly it's become like this, dharma means it's becoming a religion. When we said sanatana dharma, we are talking about eternal laws. If you say eternal law, obviously these are laws not about physical nature, but about inner nature. So the laws that govern our inner nature are eternal laws. It can't be yours or mine, it is the nature of the universe. It is the nature of the life that is here. It is not that it belongs to any one community or the other, it is the very nature of life and existence. So, if you are in tune with the laws, you will fly. If you are in not in tune with the laws, you will get stuck. A simple thing. Right now, this is being taught to everybody in the management schools, everywhere in the homes also, you must make your mark in the world. Then the planet will be all dented by the time you leave <laughs> With the kind of population we <laughs> have for sure. <laughs> yes. You must leave your footprint and go. You must understand those who leave footprints shall never fly in their life. This is the law. <laughs> we'll leave it here. <laughs>